Um, I'm Anne-Marie. I teach Sec 4 in Beauceville at the, the Prudent PSF. I have enriched students, PI students, and regular students. For the purpose of the project today, I did it with um, language students, so a bit stronger students. I decided to integrate technology in one of the projects that I've been doing for a few years now. So I modified it and integrated iPads. I'm comfortable with technology, but I don't use it all the time. I'll integrate it here and there. Like this. You'll see the camera will be really small and you'll want to do that to have the full screen. But if you do that, when we'll look at it, it'll be sideways. So you really need to hold it sideways when you videotape yourself, okay? okay. And the microphone's there, so you need to speak close. Those who've seen the Blair Witch Movie Project, it's a bit the same, okay? So the purpose here is for you to have fun. Well, we use computer labs sometimes. I use a smart board. Before, when you're done, log out, okay? Of the app on the right corner, top right corner, you need to log out because if somebody else uses the app, they'll be signed in your email, okay? So we don't want that. And the iPads once in a while. So um, I don't use all the technology like Moodle and things like that. I would like to learn though, but um, I would say I'm so, so with technology. Yeah, we have a set of 33 iPads here. Um, mobile lab, so we have to reserve it on the website and then bring it back every period. We have a 10 period break. And here people use a lot the computer lab, so it's hard. You have to really reserve it in advance. I reserve mine a month or two in advance, and for that we have to be planning in advance too. So. Let's start. First of all, recap is the app we're going to use um, on the iPad. First thing first, one iPad per team, okay? Because you guys are two. I put up, um, as you'll see, it's the pink app with the eyeballs, going like that. Um, you need to sign up. So last class I had asked you if you had an email account. You all said yes. So it's one email for the team. So whichever one is fine. I won't have access to your email. It's just for the purpose of having access to the app, okay? Once you're in it, um, you'll have to click respond and then it'll bring you to the place where you'll probably see your face in the camera. It might also ask you to access the microphone and the camera, just authorize it and it'll be fine. Then you have six sequences, because I know some of you are in teams of three, okay? So one sequence is maximum two minutes. So if you do 30 seconds, it's fine. You don't have to do the full two minutes. But then you click on next. If you click on next and you say, oh no, I want to go back, it's not quite possible, but you have the possibility to record again if you don't like what you saw before submitting your sequence. And students are allowed to have their devices too, so sometimes we use the device in class when it's um, for the purpose of an activity. Um, so when we have a few iPads missing, we can share also the iPads. Sometimes I have 15, another teacher has 15, and I complete with the students' cell phones. The pedagogical intention behind this activity was actually to develop students' um, communicative skills, reflective skills, teamwork as well, and I wanted them to reinvest um, the text, the information we did prior to the final task. And we're going to surf. It's for a surf trip, but I really actually, it. and I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Seriously, it's uh, in my head, it's just pretty the task you saw using the iPad was uh, the publishing process. Before that, they wrote a journal um, blog or kind of entries they did in team. And I wanted them to apply that. They worked on an LES called On the Edge, where they had to talk about survival. So we looked at real life stories in authentic context as well. So it's part of the cultural aspect of the program as well because we were able to see interviews by people that actually lived this dif these different stories. Um, they saw videos, they read text, they worked in teams. We developed a language, functional language also to the task. And the final task was in team. They had to produce their own survival journal as if they were themselves living a um, surviving moment. For example, let's say, uh, two students, it could be me and a friend going on a road trip and there's a big storm, we end up in the ditch and we're covered in snow, so all we have in the car is an old pizza box and a pen, so we're stuck there, we didn't tell anybody, so we start writing a blog like day one, we've been here for three hours, it's cold, we have no food, so they had to actually write a journal 
that part was evaluated, and as a final product, we did the um, publishing part using the iPad, a bit like the Blair Witch um, Project movie. I'm so bad right now. I drink all the milk because she's allergic, and I don't want to expire because I have smells so bad. I'm going to get the milk and I'm going to get the milk. Yeah, 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 I'm going to get the on the task they've done before and evaluate the response for a C2, but I did not. It was more of a fun activity in the end. And at the same time, I think they had to develop a bit of empathy because they had to put themselves in a position of survival and also they had to understand how the people that lived these situation, um, what they had to deal with. And at the same time, I think that today, I real they realized how hard it was to actually um, talk and record themselves, so they had to communicate together as students, and they had also to, they were able to view themselves and improve themselves and realize the mistakes they were doing. So.